I thought today I would answer a few questions that um, people asked me on Quora and Reddit and uh, I don't know if I'll get to all of them but there's a few of them and uh, some of them's kind of uh, well I, I just don't know I understand why some people ask these questions um, like this first one. Is everyday life starting to feel like a prison cell? No. Not to me, it's not. I mean, I, I may have answered this one before, and if I have, I apologize. But, um, being in a cell for 29 years, I don't see everyday life as a prison cell. Now, I, know, I understand some people are depressed, and they go through things, and but just imagine somebody being in prison and being depressed. They're twice as bad. Um, so I, I can't see it being like a prison cell. Which criminals get the worst treatment in prison? I'm not sure how they mean that because if you mean the worst treatment from staff, then it's going to be the convicts, the ones who do not like to talk to the uh, COs, uh, the guards or anything, the ones who, uh, a lot of them don't like to obey the rules, and a lot of them get in trouble, and not always because they're looking for trouble, but sometimes it, it just can't be avoided. But if you're talking about the worst treatment from other criminals, that would be the ones with the messed up cases, you know, the ones that, well, they have a certain look about them, most of them do. And they, and, and really that depends on the prison too, you know. Um, like in uh, Farmington, on B side, they had, the, for a while, they had their own yard and everything, which just drove me absolutely nuts because I don't think it should be on the yard. It's just my personal opinion. And I especially don't think it should be in a yard where they're mixed in with others because this causes these others to get uh, more charges and um, get in trouble for hurting them. What crazy things happen in prison that people don't know about? Well, there's all kinds of things, you know, there's a, most people know about correctional officers smuggling stuff in, uh, most people have heard about the uh, inmate um, staff's uh, sexual relations, and this happens more common than people think it does. Uh, they took uh, tobacco out of uh, Missouri, and I think in 2018, I think that's when it was. So now, guards are bringing in tobacco because, you know, it's uh, safer that way than bringing other things in. Um, guards have been known to uh, beat prisoners. I've showed videos of that, but I've actually witnessed it. You know, I don't know what these chairs are called, the restraint chairs, I think. I've seen a guy strapped to one of those and just being pummeled by two guards. And the uh, thing of it is, a lot of uh, high ranking correctional officers, if I see this going on in my uh, prison, uh, that's going to be the end of it. That's just them talking. It's not going to be the end of them, because most of them are related, especially in licking. Everybody there was related, and 
Then you have when they do a cell extraction, and you'll you may have seen videos of them all rushing in. And the cameraman's always in the back. I was told this by a friend who was a correctional officer, and he quit because of the way we were being treated and because of the way he was being treated. But he said the cameraman's in the back for a reason. He said when the guards rush in, rush in, the cameraman can't see what's going on, so they can get off a, pun a couple punches, two or three punches. <laughs> Excuse me. And the cameraman is not going to pick it up. You know, he's just going to see the back of the, the officers. There's, and then there's crazy things about it. Um, <laughs> prisoners too, man. <laughs> I've seen some, <laughs> seen a, a guy trying to climb a fence one time. The, the thing about it, this was just a fence in between the housing units, so it wasn't like it was the outside fence. And uh, so, you know, where was he going to go? Um, I saw one time a bunch of guards, it's raining, it's raining like crazy, a bunch of guards trying to chase this uh, prisoner down, this black guy, and uh, he was laughing at him and running, and uh, we're just standing there watching all this, it was like the guy was just having fun with him, and um, Guards were slipping and fall. He even slipped and the, the prisoner even slipped and fell once, but he got up and was able to get away. <coughs> but this one guard fell flat on his face in the mud. You know, his whole front was covered in mud. And uh, that was pretty funny. It was entertaining, you know. But it wasn't like this guy was, like, trying to get away from him because he was trying to get away from him. It's like he was just out there having... You know, they was trying to get him, and he was just laughing and running around. Um, probably the, and I don't know how this guy did not get hurt. In front of the housing unit, there was two guys started fighting. And they have these benches, and they're flat. They ain't got no back to them. They're just flat. And this guard, and they was fighting in front of this bench. And this guard came and ran, stepped up on his bench, and dove like he's going to try to take them both down. Well, they fell to one side, and he splatted right on the concrete. And um, all of us were like, damn. And um, But he jumped right back up, and he was scratched up and everything, but he wasn't hurt as much as I thought he should have been been this um, last question I got here is um, I know it sounds stupid but I wanted to go to jail for just a month what do I have to do to get a sentence like this this was asked directly to me and another ex-con and we both told him you, you don't want to do this you just for the heck of it, you don't want to do it. And I told him, I said, it's not worth it, you know, even if it's just a month. Well, he says that he responded to me and told me that he was doing it because he wanted to get off of um, an addiction he had, which might be a pretty good way of doing it, but, I mean, I don't know what he could do to just get a month and, do, you know. You could do, get a few days or you could get a bunch Really? I didn't know that. Uh, I didn't go. I did. Driving yeah. without a driver's license. And Mindy here is saying driving without a driver's license will get you a month in jail. Um, well, I mean, there's his answer. You know, if <laughs> he wants to do that, um, just drive around without his driver's license on him. Speed a little bit, maybe. So they'll pull you over. Um, but it has to be, uh, you're really having to 
want to get off of this addiction and you really it really has to be a problem for you and that you're wanting to really you're desperate to get rid of this addiction addiction if you want to go to prison or I mean to jail you know I know I did 29 years um, in prison but let me tell you something that first month few months actually that I was in there felt like an eternity I mean it was just of course this is an old country jail we didn't have a TVs or nothing like that you know I they they allowed me to have my family bring up a radio but uh, oh there is another question um, but really it was just boring, just sitting there day after day, you know, you, you do little things to try to pass time. But it was, um, it said, what did I, this was a, again, asked to me and about three or four other ex-cons, how did I feel about other people in prison? I'm not sure what they mean by this because, uh, it, it could mean a number of different things. And, uh, well, I, I will say this. When I first got to prison, I was kind of, I felt like everybody in there deserved to be there. And, uh, they put me in there with some messed up people, you know. Uh, but, uh, I didn't like anybody in there. Uh, well, it wasn't that I didn't like anybody in there. I didn't want to like anybody in there. And it wasn't long that I started uh, making friends, you know, hanging around with people and stuff. And uh, I really don't know how that happened. But um, it seemed like it was after my first fight I was in. There was a guy from St. Louis. And the next thing I... Well, of course, I was hanging around my cell, you know, I got to talking to him, and we got along good. But um, I'm, the other people, it just seemed to happen, and it was like, before I knew it, I was hanging around these guys, you know. Most of them was old school <coughs> convicts, and they was just, really, they, just, they liked me, but they was also trying to teach me to, you know, how to do time and stuff. And, uh, but it was after... My first fight that they started uh, really hanging around with me, you know, and, and working out with me a little bit, but mostly just, you know, telling me the do's and don'ts of uh, prison, you know, and it was, by the time I left prison, I had changed my attitude about people in prison, and uh, it's something I still feel strongly about. There's I'm going to tell you, there's people that I think shouldn't be left let out. I mean, they've told me they're going to go back to the same thing. Uh, you know, killing, murdering, mayhem. Um, those people, uh, if they're going to do the same thing again, then you know, why let them out, you know? If, if people's lives are going to be in danger. There's some that just need a second chance that's all they want you know and they're doing the best they can with the little resources they have to improve themselves while they're in prison then there are those though who are innocent they just probably more than I think there are but I know of a couple and one for sure I mean I am positive he's innocent um, I put my life on the line for that, but um, it, it happens. People get innocent. People get put in prison, and I always think, you know, at least I went when I was in prison. At least I was in there for taking another person's life. I cannot imagine being in prison and being completely innocent of something that you know you was convicted of doing, but you didn't. I mean, that just it blows my mind. I don't know if I can make it. So that's all I got for you today.
thank you for watching. And uh, uh, again, we'll have another live Saturday. So hope to see you all there. And uh, bye.